guys. Hope you're having a great day. So this is obviously not what you usually see when this video starts. That's because I'm doing something different today that I'm pretty excited about. So I reached out to a company called Ranger Inc. because I've been looking at these products when I go to Michael's and I'm just, I just think they're like, they look fascinating. So one of their products is called Distress Oxide Spray. And I was looking at these because it's, it's supposed to like age your paper and put like a color on it as well. And it makes like really cool effects. So I thought I would try this in my planner. So I reached out to Ranger Inc. and they sent me like a whole box full of these and then these things called ink spray and something called, where's the other one? Shimmer spray. So I played around like literally for like five minutes before this video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do these with you guys. But I think today I'll be using the Distress Oxide Spray because um, I just am more interested in these. So let's try these out and see how it goes. So when I use my classic happy planner, it is for a wellness journal. So I can kind of like play around and be crazy in it because I don't need as much room to write as in my regular planner. So what I thought I would do today is take a couple sheets of these, this Arteza multimedia paper, and, and you saw this before. This is actually really nice paper for a good price. Take a couple of these sheets Play around with these Distress Oxide sprays on the paper here and just see what I come up with. And then what I think I will do is cut it out or rip it and put it into my planner after it's dry. And that way I am, cause like the planner pages are super thin. I could do it on this, but I have a feeling it's gonna warp the page. So if I do it on this first and glue this into here, and I know this is like two different whites, look at that. This is a very blue white. This is a very cream white. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it's gonna be full of color. So I think it'll be okay. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of like experiment with you guys. Um, let me just grab the colors that I'm looking for. So here's the ones that they sent to me. I'll just put them out here. And you can try to decide which colors you think I'm gonna use in this video. What a fun game. So take a second and look at them and knowing what you know about me, which ones do you think I'm going to use? Choose carefully. <laughs> All right, you probably don't know because I'm not even sure either, but I am definitely not gonna use, I don't, I think I might just use these three or or these, or maybe these. I think I'm gonna stay away from pink. So probably these, or just the blue and the green. And I'm just gonna see what this does. Like I said, I played around a little bit, but not a lot. So your guess is kind of as good as mine. I also got these things, I bought these myself. This is a mini ink blending tool and you can smooth it out. So this is gonna make a, like a spray effect, but you can take them and like spray it onto there and then like smooth it around and it's gonna make a real smooth look. But today I wanna do like kind of a spray look. So I'll be using those in another video. And I'll link these in my Amazon shop so you can check them out if you want to. All right. Let's just spray. When you shake these, you have to do it like this, like you're ringing a bell, side to side. Apparently, if you shake it up and down, it can leak out the top, so you don't wanna do that. Oh, I just did that. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we're just gonna start. Look at that color, you guys. We're just gonna start by spraying around on some of the page. Now we're gonna take a blue. It's already curling the paper, but when I glue it down, it should be all right. Oh, whoa, I got a splotch over there. Not sure if I like that. It's kind of cool, it's very splotchy. All right, let me try this part. 
Another thing you can do with this is you can take some water, and I don't have a spray bottle yet, I actually ordered a spray bottle, like a little art sprayer, but you can take, I'm just putting my hand in my water bottle, <laughs> you can take water and you can do this, and what it's going to do is create like a white area where the water was. Uh, probably I'm doing too much. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and check out and see how it worked. Actually, before I do that, I I wanna show you there is a way to do it without letting it dry and that is to take a paper towel and just take off the excess ink. So I'm gonna do it over here on this one and you can just press down. There's so many different techniques with these. I've been watching some videos and <clears throat> There's just a lot of different ways you can play around with these sprays. So one of them is you can press down and get the excess ink off. And there you go. Look how cool that is. That's really, really cool. I kind of want to do it on this side too instead of waiting for it to dry. So I'm going to just blot it. Next time I'll wait for it to dry and see what happens. But I'm being impatient and I want to see how it looks. I think that looks pretty cool. I like it better without the white splotches, but again, I think I put too much water on. If I had just put like little drops, it would have been kind of speckled, but I kind of went crazy like I tend to do. All right, so you get this really cool like tie-dye effect, which I think is really neat. I like this one better than this one, like I said. And I am just gonna let these dry just a little bit before I put them into my planner because they're, even though I, took the excess ink off. They're still a little bit like soft. The paper's a little soft because it's still a little bit wet. So we're gonna like leave that to dry. And while we wait for that, maybe I'll try to play around with a couple more different, um, the other inks. So let's try that. Um, let me get my paper. Take another couple pages and we'll just try something else. So I'm going to show you what the ink sprays do. The ink sprays are also super cool. So this you can shake up and down. This is just, it's a different type of spray. I don't know the difference. I think, um, I don't know, there's some there's some ingredient in this that makes it different, and I'm sure there's probably people watching this that know exactly what it is, but I haven't done enough research on it. But um, this these sprays are gonna be more uh, like bright, and these are gonna be more opaque, if that makes sense. These are like a little cloudy, and these are like more bright, you'll see. Okay, probably sprayed too much of that, but again, Oh, and you're supposed to wipe them off every time you do that. Okay, so now let's take another spray, another color. Let's see. Um, and you can mix and match these too. You can use some of the Distressed Oxide Spray, some of the Ink Spray in the same project if you want to because it's art and when you have when you're an artist or when you're doing art stuff you can literally do anything you want so this is the ink spray as well there we go now I'm gonna see what this does when I blot it I have no idea because I haven't tried that I'm gonna blot this might take off everything who knows oh there we go that's pretty cool oh when I blotted it again it added those <laughs> it added those dots I didn't necessarily want but they're kind of cool okay so I'll show you the difference so this is the distress oxide spray and this is the ink spray you can see the ink spray is much brighter 
than this. So it's just a different look. It depends on what you're going for. I kind of like this. I think it's really cool what it did when I blotted it. Again, it, you can wait for them to dry on their own. You can also use a hair dryer or a heat tool to dry them. Okay, let's blot this one off and see what happens here. Just soak up that excess ink. And there we go. It's really cool, right? It definitely is like a tie-dye effect. Now you, you can do, like, watch some video. If you're interested in these, watch some videos on them. Because there's a lot of people out there doing videos with, like, 20 different techniques and stuff. There's so many different things you can do with these. And this is just one of those things. So I'm going to let those dry. And then I will come back and we'll work on the spread. Okay, I am back and the papers have pretty much dried and they're pretty darn curled, but that's okay because we're just gonna take some glue or adhesive and put those down onto the page and it's gonna flatten it out when we stick it down. That is exactly why I did not wanna put the ink directly onto these pages because they would be even more curled than this and then we'd have a problem. You can iron it, but it doesn't work that great. You know what? Before I do that, I think I need to put some washi tape down so that these peach lines go away or just take away the peach lines completely with white because the last thing I want to do is have this color, these bright colors, and have the peach there. It doesn't look good together. Okay, so I'm just going to take my white out and white out these lines. And this is... Tombow correction tape and it is listed in my Amazon shop if you'd like to purchase it it works really really well and I just buy a pack of 12 of these and then and like I bought that I don't even know almost a year ago maybe and I have not had to get a new one yet because it lasts a long time Do that, and then up here, maybe some washi tape up there. How about some doodle bug design? Scallop washi in blue. Let's see what that would look like. So now the question is, I could do some across the middle of the page. That might be pretty cool. Why don't I take this whole middle section and just do like a line of tie dye across? I think that would look neat. So let's kind of measure it and see. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make it big enough to cover up the white out so that I don't have to deal with that. So we're going to take a pencil and just, I'll just mark here. And then we'll get my um, my paper trimmer, my Fiskars paper trimmer, which if you don't have one of these, probably a good idea to get, especially if you're going to be using scrapbook paper or other papers in your planner because it makes it so much easier to cut a straight line. You just stick that on and boom, and it's done. So I'd recommend this. They're not too expensive. I think this was maybe 20 something. Uh, but I use it constantly. That's the second one I've had. I actually uh, had one in the 90s when I was scrapbooking and I uh, used it until it broke earlier this year. So, all right, so I'm gonna cut, take it here and I'm gonna take it here. Let's take that paper trimmer again and just do it so you can see there's like a um, like a if you're not familiar with paper trimmers there's a wire there's a thin wire do you see it on here that creates a line and then you know exactly where to put your paper and I don't think I had a wire on the last one I'm not sure I think that might be a newer thing but I like that it's there because it's like a guideline I think that's makes it so much easier Okay, so this one is cut. That looks smaller than it's supposed to be, but it fits. So I'm gonna put this one down there and then 
I am going to grab probably this paper for the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to erase those little marks on there. And then I'm gonna glue this down. Okay, that looks pretty good. That did make my page warp. Look at that. My page is slightly warped, but I can kind of curve it and that helps. And then also when I put it back down into the planner, that's gonna help as well. So we'll be good. Kind of like that look, it's sort of cool. I don't think I put this down correctly. You can see it's sort of angled down, but you know, hey, we'll live with it. Okay, so now since I have this in the middle of the page, I think what I'll do is take more washi and I'll put it at the bottom. So let me, I'm gonna still go with this blue because I don't like the green one as much. Actually, let me, no, I'm just gonna stay with this blue for today. Okay, so now we have the start to our spread. So what I thought I would do now is figure out boxes and then maybe add some other elements into here, some blue green stuff. In this Colorful Boxes 3 book, I saw some like blue, this like blue and, and green color matches pretty good and maybe some yellow I could bring in. But I don't really like the ones that have the three boxes here. I mean, I can use maybe one of those for like just little words of encouragement, but I'm gonna take a couple of these bigger ones. I don't have any of the green bigger ones, but I'll use a couple of these and then maybe bring in some like green smaller boxes. Um, and again, this is my wellness journal, so it's like, like this, okay? So feelings, reminders, like just things like that go into here. This is like my creative journal type thing. So, so I just need like boxes, you know, for stuff. And I'm just randomly putting these around because again, it doesn't have to be on like the specific day. Wow, that's really crooked though. It doesn't have to be on the specific day because it's like feelings. So I try to like put it near a day, but it's okay if it overlaps. Let's put this one here for whatever reason. I don't really like that I can see that through it, but it doesn't, I don't hate it either. All right. Let me get my second one. So I have two of these books. Let me see if I have any of those bigger ones in here. And I do, I have one of the blue. I move this yellow one. I'll make this blue horizontal up here just to vary it from that so it's not like so similar. And then I'll make, hmm, I'm running into the same problem. Okay, I guess it, I thought it was a color problem. It's a shape problem. Why don't I just do this? So that's on the majority of the middle, but over the line. Okay, so those are the only big boxes I have that match what I'm looking for in this particular type of box. But let's look in, let's look in another one. So how about this colorful box is two, I think. I think it's two, I get confused. There's so many of them. And we're gonna go for greens, yellows, and blues. I like this yellow box, but it has this, but I could cover it up with something. So let's put a yellow box down here. And we'll put something in that corner to cover up that little, that's for like a monthly layout because that's where the number is. So that's the cutout for the number, but we don't have to use them for monthly layouts. We can use them for anything we want. That is the beauty of having your own planner. You can do whatever the heck you want, like anything. How about we bring in a yellow on the sidebar? Let's just like sticker it up. That's really bright. 
I'm liking it. Let's see what's in this one. Look at this green one. I kind of like that, but what would I do with that? That might be good for like writing some encouraging word or something. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to use it. Just putting it right here. Now, since there's like strong solid yellow colors over here, I want to bring in some solid colors over here. So I'm going to go back to this book and see what I can find because I'm not liking that there's so much brightness here and not over here. Maybe I'll bring in another yellow over here. I know that's a lot of yellow in one place, but it sort of balances out the opaqueness here. So I think I'm okay with that. Let's go back in and look for some more green. So I don't want this to be my only green box because that would be not right. How about just the regular old colorful boxes? Let's go back to the OG. I've used so many of that bright green because I think I just really like that color. Here's one. So I'm gonna bring some green in over here. Okay, so that balances the green out over there. And I think we're pretty balanced. I kind of wish this wasn't yellow here, but it's okay, I'm gonna live with that. All right, so what else are we gonna bring in here? That's the question. We've got boxes, we've got tie-dye, we've got washi. Now, what else? Typically, what I go for at this point is quotes. So, let's just look and see if we can find some quotes. Let's look at happy quotes because there's going to be bright color quotes in here that might kind of bring this all together. Like Fraye, this is the same colors. Look, those three colors right there. And I'm going to do it here even though I typically save those boxes to write in because that's like really cute. So I'm just going to throw that down. So I'm going to be looking for teal, blue, green, and yellow quotes. We should be able to find some of that stuff in here. I'm not going to use any one that I find because I might not like it. And it might be too big like that one's a little big. I always like these little strips. I think they're so fun. So I'm going to take a couple of these little strips. This one that says think happy thoughts because this is like my positivity journal. So why not? try to be super positive with these cute quotes. Why not? Because stuff like that makes me happy if I read it in my planner all the time. Think happy thoughts. And share a smile today. It's kind of corny, but, but kind of cool. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to put making memories up here on the yellow because I might write down some things that happened during the week here and that's going to be like a little journaling block for me. So I'll put that there. I know that's a little bit crooked. I'm living with it. Keep that in mind. And then how about take it easy. Maybe down here. Okay, so that kind of balances out that aspect. Now, let's look for, oh, look at these. Look at these, these are perfect, but I don't think I have enough room. Like this one, come on, like how perfect is this? What if I put it down here? Or I can cut it. I can just, let's cut it. We're just gonna layer it. So I know that the, it's yellow on the top. That kind of bothers me. I wish the blue was on the top so that it would contrast against the yellow, but it's not. So I'm just gonna live with that. And I'm just gonna layer it like this. Cause if I put it down, I could put it down there though. It would look like a continuation of that box. Hmm. 
me see. Oh my gosh, you guys. It looks like the box was meant to have that on the bottom. <laughs> I kind of like that. I know there's a little glue there that's bothering me. I'll get that off, but how cute is that? It looks like that box was made like that. If you didn't know it, you probably asked me where I found that box, right? It's kind of cool. All right. I wish it was a little bit shorter. I should have cut this down a little more and moved it up because it's bothering me. It's a little long, but it's okay. That's pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to take maybe like, I'm going to do this because we need to cover these up. So this will be like, should I do that one? I feel like maybe I should do that here. This will be, I don't know what I'll write on those, something. It's just to cover up that section so that it's not there and then we'll, I'll write something on it. I'll figure it out. Okay. Glad I found that page. So I'm almost done, but I just wanna add a couple of like little clear quotes in here probably. Oh, but this one, punch today in the face. Perfect colors, perfect. but no place to really put it unless I put it up here. Let's do that. Let's white out. Do I need to even white anything out? I'm just gonna put it right there. I don't need to white that out. Don't need to. All right, I'm almost done. I might even be done it doesn't have to like have a billion stickers it already has a billion stickers who am I kidding and I'm gonna be adding things in during the week as I write in it so I do add little stickers here and there during the week I'm gonna take this goal sticker I'm gonna place it over here or I think that's good enough for like my before the pen and then as I go during the week I uh, will add more so I hope you guys like this and let me know in the comments down below what you think and if you like me playing around with all sorts of art supplies I had fun with this I expected it would be more of like an impact I think I was gonna have like more of the page covered but I really like how this turned out and I love playing with new supplies also let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for things that you would like me to do as far as like using art supplies or whatever because like I said I like playing also I want to give a shout out to some patrons um, shout out to Sally Lustig Erica Brown Amanda Wheeler and Donna Kowalski thank you for being a bumble buddy and a patron of mine I so appreciate it if you don't know what a patron means check out patreon.com there's a link in the description box below it'll tell you all about it you'll get extra content stuff that I just don't show on here so thank you guys for supporting me and stick around for doodle of the day I will see you in my next video bye